What's going on YouTube? Counting Ains back again, man. So on my last video, you know, my last self-help video, guys, talking about, um, you know, self-development and self-sacrifice and discipline, you know, a lot of people were uh, asking me in the comments and one person DM me on Instagram to say, yo, Chris, like, what do you think of respect? You know, do you think respect is one of those things that, you know, is very valued and stuff and, you know, you have to have uh, in every aspect of life and of course I think that guys but um, I see that that common theme popping up now in like pop in like pop culture you know Andrew Tate talks about it, alpha male strategies all these people in the manosphere like it's kind of funny when you talk about it you know like on manosphere you know pop culture this kind of stuff so like <clears throat> you know talking to people about respect you know is like the most important uh, thing that you guys can actually have for someone so let's just delve deep into that guys I basically just want to talk about respect for a second and how it's probably the most important thing you guys can have in life <clears throat> with women, with other guys that, that are your friend, you know, that are your friends, stuff like that, guys. Just everyday life when you meet with people. So, um, you guys ever see those like movies like Goodfellas or you know any of those gangster movies, you know, Godfather, all that kind of stuff. You know, they always talk about this kind of respect, respect. You know, you you disrespect to me, you disrespect me. You know, and all this kind of stuff, like, like the, the Godfather then goes off and starts killing half of Manhattan and shit, you know. He's just like murdering half the city <clears throat> because one of the other gang members disrespected him or, you know, someone disrespected his daughter, you know, something like that, guys. They're all talking about respect, respect. And we don't really have this strong concept in Ireland, you know. I feel like, in, like mostly we'd hear about this concept from Americans or from like movies and stuff like that. Even in Britain, there's not really like this big respect thing. I never really hear British people talk about it. Uh, especially on the internet but you know respect is probably the most important thing you guys can have and garner as, as a human as just an individual guys you know um, as soon as you start to lose respect for friends as soon as you start to get disrespected by your friends as soon as you start to get disrespected by colleagues at work uh, by your boss you know by your girlfriend by your boyfriend you know shit just starts like a massive dive guys and it's time to pretty much end any relationships you have with those people because um, it's very hard to get it back once it is lost guys you know a lot of people think that you know once you have respect or you know you know you're constantly building respect for people not necessarily guys you're not constantly getting respect from people it's something that you have first and foremost when you first meet somebody uh, and then you can act like a goofball and mess it up and then completely get you know show disrespect to someone else also and then completely lose it you know what I mean so if you're just a goofball you're this guy going around the place and you have no respect for yourself you know you're not maybe you know doing the things that you know you know doing the proper things to help you kind of keep you know what I mean um, keep on a high high status as a male then I think a lot of these things <clears throat> a lot of these uh, issues start to arise guys where people say oh they're bullying me they're talking shit about me at work my friends talk shit about me you know da 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 this kind of stuff <clears throat> You know, whatever it may be, guys, you know, oh, my boss is riding me, this kind of stuff. You know, a lot of these circumstances is because these people don't respect you guys. You know, these people don't see value in you. They don't see value in your character. So, <clears throat> so they, you know, they don't really show you any kind of love. They don't, they don't, you know, they don't try and show you respect. They don't be, you know, they don't open doors for you. They don't say thank you. They just kind of treat you like shit, right? Now, a lot of the times, guys, when you first delve into this respect kind of, uh, you know, respect kind of sphere, people kind of go a bit too to the extreme. They say, oh man, I'm going to be this big, hard dude, walk around town. I think I'm the shit and this kind of thing. And that's not what respect is, guys. Respect is actually a lot of the opposite of that. Respect is, you know, holding like a masculine frame, you know, so people don't clown you in public and shit. You know, you, 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 know, you don't walk around like a cocky asshole. That's stupid. But you have respect for yourself, guys. You dress properly, you know, you don't, you know what I mean, say dumb things. Like, you just, you know, you come across as a respectful individual. Now, um, a lot of these coaches, like Andrew Tate talks about, um, they always talk about respect and stuff like that. So, once you start to lose that in relationships, let's just take, for instance, uh, like, a, you're a guy and you have a girlfriend. This is every single relationship ever, guys, right? <laughs> for the most part. You have this girl... It's all going good. Everything's going good for the first few months, whatever. Normally around the three month mark, uh, shit starts to always go downhill, guys. You know, it just it just happens. Around the three month mark to like the six month mark, shit just starts to dive. Why is that, guys? Because the guy has got comfortable now. He's kind of starting to you know let the let the side down a little bit. Maybe he's not dressing as well. He's not wearing the 
that, you know, he's not, you know, getting shaved up like you see. He's not getting the haircuts like you see. He's, he's farting around his chick. He's like doing all these dumb shits right around his women. When really you should be holding that, that character, that frame 24 seven, you know, uh, because then your woman starts to disrespect you. Same with a man, you know what I mean? So like, you know what I mean? If, if a girl starts to get, you know, stupid and she starts going out and being stupid, then the man can get kind of feel like he's getting disrespect, disrespected in public. You know, the woman starts clowning him and then shit just starts to go downhill from there, guys. It's very easy to keep that respect, guys. It's very easy, guys. You just always have to have an abundance mindset. You know, have that abundance mindset, have that discipline, you know, have your purpose. You know, those three things, discipline, abundance mindset, and purpose, you know, are the most three most important things in the world, guys. You know, that abundance mindset, you know, I, you know, we talk about a high value man and a lot of people say high value man is a guy that drives a Ferrari. Everyone thinks this guys, everyone thinks this. I don't think it at all. I'm the same as AMS. Who's like a, who's like a coach, the same guideline of thinking that he has. AMS, AMS talks about, uh, so regular, he basically talks about what a high value person is, right? And, uh, Andrew Tate talks about all these guys that you guys will ever see in your whole life. And for the rest of your life, Jordan Peterson and all these guys, whoever you want to throw on their left, right wing, they always talk about high value person, right? Like what's a high value man? We'll take it from, cause obviously I'm a dude, right? And mainly dudes are going to be watching this. High value guy is someone that drives a Ferrari, earns six figures, has a sick, has a sick house, has lots of chicks, loads of bitches around him. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's not what a high value guy is guys. For me, a high value man is a man that's in an abundance mindset and that's on purpose. You know, someone that really doesn't care who comes and goes out of his life, who just kind of, you know, he helps build characters, but if they're just kind of disrespect him in any way, they just dead it. And that's just it, guys. That's just, it's done. Relationship's over. Women, they act up, let them be. If they come back, they come back. If they don't come back, then that's it, guys. That's a high value man to me. Now, a high value man, guys, uh, definitely you have to have your shit together. You know what I mean? Obviously have your own place, you know, your own car, you know, you know, you know, maybe you have three or four women and stuff like that, or you have one girlfriend, whatever it may be, guys. Um, but when people look at these celebrities, they always say, oh man, like LeBron James, a high value man. LeBron James, a high value man, when he was in probably like secondary school, when he was probably in college, because he probably had an abundance mindset back then also, guys. He probably thought, yo, if I don't make this to the NBA, I'm probably gonna make it somewhere else. You know, his time is very limited. Also, that's another key aspect. Your time is limited, you know, and you have you have a purpose and also, um, you know what I mean? You're just respected by everyone, guys. These, these things are, you know, these things are what make high value people. It's not really necessarily what they have because what you have can come and go. Now, if, if you lose, <laughs> some people have their status built on what they have. Man, I have this mansion, I have these six figure income, I'm a high value guy. As soon as they lose that guys, they have nothing. You know, their, their whole status is lost. But to them, they could still think, yo, I'm the shit. I can get all this back again. I don't even really care about this too much. Let me try, let me try and get this. Let me go over here and try and get this money back again. It really has nothing to do with what the actual person, the individual has, guys, as a person. Because everyone, everyone really, really holds on to that truly. Man, I have this big job. You know what I mean? Um, I have all this income. I have this big car. I have this hot wife. Uh, you know, big house, and really, that's not that's not what it comes down to it, guys. What boils down to it, in my opinion, and what a lot of other coaches say, I'm not really a coach, guys, but I'm a YouTube coach. What a lot of other people say, guys, is, oh, you know, um, high value man is actually not that high value person is someone who has an abundance mindset. They constantly think they can get more of whatever they have if they lose it, so they're never in a fucking scarcity mindset. Their woman leaves them. That's all good. Two weeks time. We get another chick, maybe you know whatever. That kind of keeps the respect, guys. This delves into everything. Once you have an abundance mindset and you have a purpose, you know you're constantly working something every single day. And if that's your career, that's cool. Probably about five percent of people have their careers and purpose. I would say, well, most people would like sixty percent, but only five percent of people actually like that. You know, I'm talking about purpose that you can do relentlessly every single day. That's never really has an ending. That you're constantly trying to strive towards to be better. You know, that purpose, whether whatever it is, guys. You know badminton, tennis playing after work, whatever that is, guys, if you're constantly driven to achieve that goal and your time is limited, guys, you know, abundance mindset, your time is limited and uh, the other one that I just said. So, you know, guys, this is what makes up uh, respect, guys. Once you have these things, your purpose, you're like, you're thinking about every single day what you want to do. You have your abundance mindset. So you think I can get more of it. And you're also just disciplined as hell, guys. And your time is scarce. If someone rings you up that night say, yo, you wanna hang out? Nah, can't hang out, bro, sorry. I got shit going on. This weekend I'm, I'm booked. Like, do you guys ever like, see when like, you are texting women for the first time, 
and they're like, yo, I can't meet you this week, maybe in a few weeks, I'm busy. And you're like, you're busy? Bitch, you work a fucking nine to five, but you're busy for the next two weeks? You know, it's lying, guys. They're lying about their, 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 um, they're lying about their status, guys, about their time scarcity to make them seem like they're on a higher scale than you. Because people with actual, um, you know, an actual high value man or a woman, they actually have their super, super limited time, guys. Their time is super limited. And that's what makes them an abundance mindset individual. That's what makes them, you know, wanted by people. That's what gives them great, that's what people give them great respect for that, guys. So that's what comes from that. Um, normally, you know, when, when you're trying to set dates with women or, you know, if a guy's trying to set a date with you, if the person is of high value, they're not going to be, you know, just, oh yeah, I can meet you tomorrow for a drink. It's going to be within a week or two. You know, it's, that's how, how it always is because people's time is scarce. You can tell they're a high value person. Now this, coming back to what I was trying to say in the beginning about respect, this is kind of what leads on to where the respect comes from. If you're always some guy's jumping pony, you know, some jumping dog, you know, oh, can you come out to Oh yeah, sure. And they come straight away or you're answering text straight away. A lot of people fake this high valueness as well, guys. I've seen a lot of that shit recently. I don't know what, last three years, everyone's trying to fake high valueness. When no one's fucking high value, like dog, uh, you, you're a plumber or whatever and the girl disrespects you. Why do you think that is like? Because you're not working on yourself. You, you have, you know, you, maybe your body is lacking. You know what I mean? You just go to work and you come home at five o'clock every day and you're this lonely guy and the only kind of thing that makes you happy is that you know that's that that appreciation from women from that five to ten a lot of people you guys know a lot of people right now they have you know the shittest lives in the world guys but because they got a hot bitch they fucking loved oh my god life is so amazing but as soon as that girl leaves it's like horrendous guys and you know why i know that guys because i was in that situation right around the time of the first beginnings of the youtube channel my, my youtube channel i was thinking man i don't really I was kind of with this chick and I was kind of thinking, man, I, you know, it was whatever. And I was crying and shit. It was all bullshit. And I was getting all emotional and stuff because I had no purpose, guys. My time was, <laughs> my time was in abundance. I had, a, I had a scarcity mindset and I, you know, I was getting nowhere with anything. So, you know, right now, guys, I'm in the most abundance mindset I've ever been in my entire life. You know what I mean? Uh, I feel like back in college, a lot of people have this abundance mindset when really it's, it's, it's a, it's, <laughs> it's a kind of a fake, it's a facade of abundance, guys. You know, women naturally have this kind of um, high value status, right? Because they can act in abundance. If the guy doesn't want to set date with them, oh, that's cool. I'll just go on to the next guy because they have an abundance mindset. They know that guys are looking, are trying to get them or whatever. Well, men don't have that, guys. Men have this real scarcity mindset, guys. You know, and I had for years as well, guys. It's crazy. Like, it's crazy when you start to look back on the shit that you were doing in the past. Like, trying to help and beg people and you're like, yo, like, what the hell? You're a high value person. Let's get, let's come back a little bit, guys. So remember when Will Smith slapped Chris Rock, and everyone was like, "Man, they're disrespecting that." It's almost it was such it was like a, it was like a psychological it was like a philosophical transfer of hate, because Will Smith has been disrespected so much by his wife. He he was he was on a public show, no cap. He was on a public show with his wife, red table or brown table or white table, or black table, red table, whatever it's called, with um with his wife, and his wife is straight up there sitting there with him like this. He's sitting there chilling. She's here. She's here beside him. Like, yo, I slept with all these guys. Like, like I'm with Tupac. You know, I I constantly feel like you're not as cool as Tupac. Which, I mean, I don't blame her. Like, <laughs> Tupac's the shit. You know, but Will Smith's pretty cool too. You know, not anymore, guys. He literally showed the world himself. And now it's starting to come back a little bit because Chris Rock is a bit. He's a bit milking it. But that's aside the point. But like, it kind of came back for about a year there, guys, or six months, whatever it happened back in March, six months or so. People started to realize, man, like Will Smith is a big, biggest beta male in the world, guys. And why is that, man? Why is Will Smith a beta male? Because he's constantly showing these beta male traits. As soon as his wife said, yo, I cheated on you. Okay, bye, Audi. The guy's worth like a hundred, maybe three, four hundred million. I don't even know how much. But we all think that status and high valueness is played and, and this alpha male status is played on your wealth and your fame. It has nothing to do with it, guys absolutely zero you can have a garbage man who has who's more high value in his own head than a guy who's worth 10 million dollars and i've met them guys i've met people rich people guys super rich people and th their status they think of nothing of themselves they're like oh, i'm shit like i and not they think that they may think they're they're all cocky and all shit most most people that have lots of money are but that doesn't mean they're high value guys that doesn't mean shit like they can't they can't get women they can't get men to respect them. They can't get their friends to respect them. 
and they're worth all this money, bro, it's a sad case because they're not, because they know that their, their mental space is corrupt, guys. They have no purpose. Maybe that money came from, you know, somewhere that they didn't deserve to get that money from. You know, before you have to put that work in, then you get the money. You know, maybe they got the money and then, they ha then they're not putting the work in. So you kind of lose that. A lot of that happens nowadays a lot, especially with the internet. Guys, with the internet, YouTube and all that, you can make so much freaking money. It's just mind boggling. But <clears throat> coming back to that, guys, high value people like Will Smith, we look at these people like, man, how is this guy not leaving his woman? And he doesn't have to leave his family, but, you know, maybe find a new woman. Like, I mean, that's not even that hard, guys. That's not, you know, if you feel disrespected, if your girl is chewing you out and talking shit to you in public, dead it, guys. Dead it. Don't be afraid of dead relationships because you feel disrespected. Your friends too. If you if you go on nights out with your friends, man, this is for all my Irish friends. Uh, Irish friends. If you go on nights out with your mates, and they're just constantly taking the piss out of you and doing all this dumb shit, like, why the fuck are you friends with those people? This slagging bullshit, right? Just like your friends are there to like praise you and help you along and 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 bring and and bring you up in the world, like you know, the world is hard enough as it is, guys. You don't need your fucking friends talking shit about you and all this shit. Dead it, guys. Dead it. <laughs> Done. I probably, I have a great friend group, guys. I, I have a very great friend. I've, people literally, like, I've known, I've known since I was six years old, seven years old, <clears throat> eight years old. And they're the biggest legends in the world. Normally when you meet people, it's not going to be the same as that relationship. They don't have that embedded kind of, um, you know, closeness, uh, you know, respect, dedication. You know what I mean? Just, just appreciation for you. They don't have that, guys, because they didn't see that kind of come up. They didn't see what you came from, guys. I have a lot of friends that kind of came from the same situation or, or didn't, <laughs> but I've known <clears throat> since I was a kid, and they're, they're hardcore friends. They never leave my ass. Like, they never. I know I know they wouldn't, <clears throat> and I never leave them. <clears throat> but that's just kind of the relationship you guys have to have with these people, guys. You know what I mean? Show people that, you know, you're working towards something, guys. You're on a purpose. Your time is limited. And you know that you're that you're disciplined. Don't don't be faking the high value. If your mate texts you and you're texting them again at eight o'clock at night, like some chick, like some like or or, or the next day or two days later, I don't even want you to text me. They like, just dead my number, man. Don't even text me. If you're if I'm gonna text you and then the next day you're texting my ass, bro. I understand if you're in a car crash or some shit, but it doesn't work like that, guys. And everyone knows. I think people think that people don't know this. Like it's just kind of sad. Um, I read a ton of philosophy books, right? Well, a ton, I mean like 10 probably, but you know, not just philosophy books guys, a lot of uh, coaching and stuff online. And like the main thing that you guys will always see is it'll come from your friends guys. Your friends will be acting, just acting up guys, just acting like little bitches. They'll just be acting like all this kind of fake shit. And you'll have to dead relationships guys. And it's the worst thing. Maybe you've known them for a long time. Maybe, you know, this, this, or this, and you'll have to eventually cut them out if they're not leading the same path you're leading. If they're not on the same journey you're on, you know what I mean? Because people, people rise together, guys. Rising tides raise all boats. I've said this phrase many a time, guys. You know, I see people on YouTube, Irish people, Dango, uh, Productions, Where's Your Head At, uh, Talking Bollocks, all these kind of guys, and their mindset, guys, is crazy. Like, it's, it's amazing. I'm looking at these people like, bro, I wish people in Ireland had this kind of mindset. And everywhere as well, you know, it's the same everywhere guys, it's the same everywhere, just people want to just pull you down, man, and just have you shit, why can't people help raise you up, like, because they don't see value in you, right, they, they, they just have to keep pulling you down, keep talking shit about, oh, this guy did this, this guy is this, why is that, guys, because they're just so unhappy with their lives, guys, they hate their lives, they come home after, the, they hate their job, they come home after the worst day of work, and then their wife is there, or girlfriend, they haven't had sex in, in a year, <laughs> maybe maybe for their birthday, you know what I mean? They're not getting any love from their girl. You know, this causes this depression and anxiety and anger, guys. And only you can solve it. And it's very easy, guys. It's very easy to solve it. <laughs> you know, you don't like your job, quit your job, get a new one. Very easy to solve it. But people, people have this depression mindset. They don't, they don't think they're going to get another job. I was applying there around, guys. <laughs> I got an email from my old boss saying, hey, come back to Medica Stem Cells. I got a phone call this morning saying to get a job, hotel, hotel and sales manager. Just like nothing, guys. Like nothing. Like I have an abundance mindset, like a motherfucker, and it's never gonna, leave, it's never gonna leave me, guys. I don't think that for one second that I don't deserve a ton of shit, and I everyone should have this abundance mindset. You know, I keep, I keep stressing that always, guys. I don't keep stressing that, but literally, guys. You know what I mean? When you're around, when you're around your friends and stuff, you should feel trusted. You know, you should have. 
you know, you, you should feel like your friends trust you. You know, that respect, that trust comes from respect. If someone comes up onto your group and, you know, someone starts hitting you, your mates should be jumping in and beat the shit out of them. <clears throat> my brother, if anyone, if anyone even looked at my brother the wrong way, I'd beat the shit out of them. You know what I mean? That's, that's what Tate says. That's how everyone should be with their family. You know what I mean? I have friends that are like family from when I was a kid, you know, probably about, you know, four or five people or whatever. Or from when I was young, adult, maybe 18 and shit. I forget, I'd do anything for those people. I would. I'd get into a fight for those people. I would defend those people. But the rest of those people, guys, they really deep down, they wouldn't defend you guys in a fight. Or if, if your life was dependent on it, guys, these people wouldn't help you out, man. You know, and you guys have to understand that, you know, maybe you don't have to be best friends with all um, different people that don't respect you. But definitely don't don't hold them to high regard if you're, <laughs> if you're trying to complete something in life. If you're trying to go somewhere in life that's really, that's really unique, you know what I mean? Then, then, uh you know, don't, um, don't try and put your third trust in them. I remember even myself, when I first started this uh, channel, I lost a bunch of friends. I didn't even know why, for no reason. I literally did nothing. I'm just the same person, literally the same everything. But they saw that the character I had was not the character that they thought I was in their head. Straight up, guys. They thought I was some weak character, whatever, <laughs> you know. But you don't know anyone, guys. You don't know anyone. Do they secretly do this? Are they secretly a monster, guys? Are they secretly friggin' disrespecting you? Are they secretly, and I mean a monster in a good way, are they secretly like so driven that it makes them feel so bad in themselves, guys, that they can't hang out with you? I, I've never stopped talking to anyone, actually, uh, in the last like probably six years. It's only people that have stopped talking to me. Like, <laughs> I've always texted people, and I don't know, understand exactly why. Uh, that is guys uh, for different reasons. I'm not saying for bad reasons. Obviously when you stop text people, it's not <laughs> It's not a bad thing. That's fine But when something happens and you know, you're, you're kind of like sitting back wondering like well, why is this person being like this? Like why and it has nothing to do with you guys. It never does. It never has anything to do with you It's always to do with them guys because they just feel I don't know threatened or they feel some sort of way about your work about your art or about your just the way you go about life that they can't they can't even see themselves you know even being on that level they can't even see themselves being anywhere close to that level when in matter of fact they're probably like up there somewhere close to you but a lot of the times these people aren't guys a lot of times it's sad to say that these people are just nobodies you know they'll never they'll never have any aspirations they're just super negative about everything and that's another thing guys negativity I was listening to that Tate, not to be rambling on about Tate, like he's some, like he's my butt buddy or something, but he was talking about um, respect is, or sorry, um, negativity is like sticky. Like even when people are around you and that negativity, when you have that negativity around you, it like sticks to you. So you have to try and like push it away. It's like hard to get off almost. You're like, ah, damn. You're like trying to you know, get the shit off you, you know? That negativity, it is like that, guys. You know, you cannot be around negative people. No matter what, guys. If you're in a situation, you're about to die. Like I remember one time, <laughs> Um, we were out, we got washed out to see me and two of my buddies. And at the time we were really good swimmers. I don't know how good of a swimmer I am now, but we got washed out to sea and like, we could have drowned like, you know, shit like I, this was back probably like six years ago. We got washed out and we all just stayed cool. My friend had me laughing and we slowly made our way back in cause it was like a riptide. We slowly made our way back in with a little, um, we had a lifeboat or a, a little, uh, surfboard kind of thing, uh, a bodyboard. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we made we made ourselves back in and the three of us were laughing our ass off now We could have died. I would have died drowning though You know what I mean? And these are the kind of people that you guys want around you This guy's my best friend ever. I've known him since I was a kid. I love these people guys I fucking die for these people like, straight up and down the board like do they need anything like it's it's go time You know what I mean? So these are the kind of people you want to be around not these kind of people that are kind of half in half that they make fun of you they talk shit like whatever whatever you know their true intentions is just not there guys it's not there so um, yeah that negativity, guys, do not be around it ever. It's like sticks to you. It's horrendous. That shit will just eat you alive, guys. It'll make you feel bad, even though you don't. You, you're happy every day. You're happy. You're working out. You're doing your business. <clears throat> you're doing this. And all people watching this, you guys all know this. If you're trying to put any sort of effort into anything that's that's kind of you know that's kind of new, like whether it's your new job or whatever, it's hard, guys. It's hard. It takes a lot of mental energy. And when you have negative people around you, it just it just draws that energy from you. <clears throat> and really these negative people guys, it's like what Darwin says, it just survival of the fittest guys, the, the pe able that people to adapt to the situation. Those people just die off guys. Those people just, they don't, you know, get wives or anything because they're just too negative or, or girlfriends. They can't hang out with friends. They can't hang out with people because they're just so in this negative mind space. It just is like crippling. It's like this crippling negativity. 
you know, and um, it's easy to get rid of that guys. Literally most people that are negative shouldn't be like that. They're just like, it's just because they, they feel a certain way. Maybe something in their path, in their life has happened and they can't think, <clears throat> you know, they can't turn it around or the situation is bad whether they're poor or growing up, whatever. Guys, everyone everyone in Ireland, I don't know anyone that's like really, I know a few people that are very rich actually in Ireland, but most people in Ireland come from kind of like just regular backgrounds. And the, you know, and the people I know, and they make amazing things out of themselves. They make these amazing things out of themselves that people, you know, people cherish, you know, people, people love that. You know, coming from poor or middle class to being rich is the greatest thing ever, guys. If you're just born wealthy, there's no, there's no, there's no legacy. There's no, there's no strive. There's no hustle. There's no, there's no drive for anything. I'd rather just die with nothing in my pocket and have the whole hustle my whole life, which is fire, than really just being born with loads of money. I was even saying that to the, to the last day to my friend. I was like, if someone gave me 10 million euro, <clears throat> I probably wouldn't even take the shit because I don't even think it's fun. Like, I'm like, ah, what would I do with this? I, I probably, I probably give them, I'd probably give them like nine million to charity. I'd go buy a house in friggin' Florida by, with a pool. <laughs> and then I'd just be doing reaction videos poolside. Like dead ass, cause I don't think I'd ever even want that much money. Like, cause then it just, it just ruins everything. It's just done. Like the life is complete. Life mode is complete. Now, I will say to a point guys, money is a massive stress. If you guys don't have it, obviously don't, don't think that it's you know not good. And I would love to make loads of money myself. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying if I was given anything, it just sucks. There's no point being given anything. I'd love to have 10 milli. 100% freaking drive around that Bugatti and shit. You know, what color is your Bugatti? <laughs> but <clears throat> I'm just joking, guys. But like, on a serious note, like, when you're just given anything in life, guys, it just sucks. You know, it just, it just, it just sucks. But it all ties back into to self respect, guys. And what other people see you, the way other people see you guys, shouldn't have any reflection on how you see yourself. You know, respect isn't like, it's not like given to people. You kind of earn it from your friends, right? You earn it over the years of, you know, standing up for yourself and, showing that you actually like go the extra mile, like do these, do these, you know, do these things, do these struggles that you have in life. You know, they, did you do these things in life? And it's not just given to you. Like everything's just given to you in your life. All these things tie back into self-respect guys. It's the number one thing why men and self commit suicide, where they go and shoot up all these schools. Like in America, man, you all see these shootings, the freaking mall we were at was shot up. Like just crazy guys, like just craziness, like over there because you know, I think that they see all these things in the media, like, oh man, you can do this, you can do this, but the, the struggle behind it, guys, is crazy. Like, the amount of work and push and effort you put into it, and then people just come home and they just disrespect you, and it's just like, my God, you know, really? You know, you're gonna sit there and disrespect me after all the work I'm putting, you know, so I can kind of understand that, but you have to constantly, constantly be building that self-respect again, guys. You know, don't ever let anyone unmotivate you, don't anyone ever, you know, get negative mindset around you, because. All that stuff will just lead to that depression, guys. That 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 anxiety mindset. I make up, I wake up every single day happy. I have done for the last shit since I was like seventeen. Like the happiest person ever. Ain't got shit, but you know I have my soul. You know what I mean? My work ethic. You know my abundance mindset. That's all you need, guys. I know people that are super handsome, rich. Everything. They have the worst mindset, guys. They have no abundance mindset. They don't think they're gonna get anything else. And a, a person in abundance mindset to me is more valuable than someone with 10 million euro, just straight up and down the board. Because that 10 million euro come and go, right? But that person with the abundance mindset, they, they will grow like crazy. They're probably with 100 million, you know? And it's, it's much more important than what you, uh, what you see uh, in the media. Oh, I drive around the whip, all this kind of stuff. All these people, like, did you see 50, all my aisles, 50 cent, all these NFL players, they all have this crazy abundance mindset. They're like, oh, if I don't get this, I'll go to the CFL. If I don't get this NFL contract, I'll go to the CFL. If I don't get this, I'll, I'll become a personal trainer. Like you just constantly keep thinking of other things. I'm over here, I'm doing like getting like four incomes. Shit, last year I was like freaking, I was working for one job, which is a good job, solid job. But like, you're not happy in that guys. You know, you, you, need, you need to have that respect from your workplace. Manager was just talking shit. And it's just like, bro, like you're, you're a nobody. And you guys have to have that mindset, man, that you are, you are better than the people that call you nothing guys, 100%, everyone is. When someone says you're shit, they're just scared of you guys. You know what I mean? They would bring me into the back room and, and sit me down. <clears throat> I'll tell you guys a story. I remember like one time, uh, I was working in a shop, whatever. <laughs> I won't get too into detail because the city is small and stuff, but they brought me in the back room, right? And I'm over here and I'm thinking, <clears throat> I'm thinking, yo, like I'm busting my ass. I'm working like 10 hours, 12 hours a day. Getting good money and stuff, I guess. It's, it's regular shop. It's not nothing special, guys. You know what I mean? I'm not, you know, but I'm not a brain surgeon. You know, I'm not a cancer surgeon. I'm, I'm not saving lives. It's just stacking shelves, helping out customers, upselling, selling a thousand, two thousand euros worth of product a day. 
I was just sitting there like, and the manager comes in. And she's like, I'm going to record this interview. And I'm like, go ahead. Like I said, I, I said, shit, let me record it too. You know, and she's like looking at me all freaked out. And they're all shaking, you know, they're all, sh everyone was all shaking around me. I'm thinking like, why, the, why are you shaking around me? Like they think I'm some sort of nutcase. I'm not going to do anything. Of course, this is crazy attitude. It's just that they know that they're wrong. If they were correct, like the police, if you commit a crime, they pull you over speeding. You think the guardy, they're going to be looking at you shaking. No, you broke the law. You get a ticket. They know 100% and, and they're right. They're right. They're 100% right. You sold these drugs. Your, your ass is going to jail. Because they're right. They ain't nervous and shaking about it. They know with conviction that you're wrong, right? These people are shaking. They're like, oh, oh, why aren't you putting the putting the stuff away properly? And they're like, you know, talking all this craziness. And I'm thinking like, I'm not even here. I'm here to sell products. Like, we're here with selling. I'm here about make, I'm, I'm about making money, guys. Selling, da-da-da, doing this, making business. Going here, doing this, like upselling, talking to people. I'm over here selling product. They're over there stacking shelves. I mean, what kind of legacy are you guys leaving? You know, what kind of legacy are you leaving for people? You know what I mean? I was just like, yo, I'm getting told off about <clears throat> stacking shelves. And I'm over here with a degree. You know, you have to think that you're better than that job. Guys. You have to think, yes, I deserve this. Let me go for it. Like, you know, because if you don't, guys, no one's going to no one's gonna say, hey, you know what? Chris, you're, you're a pretty educated guy. Let me come over here and buy you something. Let me, let me, let me get you over here and uh, get this Lamborghini. No. If I want a Lamborghini, I have to go and get the shit myself, guys. I, I don't deserve anything. You don't, you don't just get given shit. I've done this since I was like, you know, 15, 16, 17. I've done this for years, guys. But people nowadays, I, I just don't get the shit. They're like, yo, I deserve this shit. Like, you don't deserve shit, bro. You know what I mean? It's a harsh reality, guys. But you have to, you have to think to yourself, you do, right? You have to have this inf you know, convic conviction like, yo, I'm better than the manager. I thought I was better than everyone in the place. That's why I left to a, a professional job. Then I was doing the stem cell stuff, but you know, working in shop is fine guys. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying like, I, I literally was like, yo, I am much better than this. I need to get the hell out of here. And if you always don't think that it's a, you know, it's not good. Like, <laughs> you know, it's not good. And I know everyone watching this knows that they're, they're the shit guys, knows that they're the shit. They keep elevating, keep pushing. You know what I mean? Not in a cocky asshole way, guys. Not this, oh, I'm the shit. I have no, 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 no. This is not. This is stupid, guys, right? This is like like lack of self-awareness, you know, just idiotic, idiocracy. Like when you're like, you know, you know, dustbin man or some, some job that requires no brain power and you think you're the shit. Yeah, no one's going to think you're the shit because you're not, guys. You're not. You can't fake high value. Constantly be thinking. Action is what matters. It's not thinking, you know, not talking to your people, not talking to me on camera saying you're the shit. The action will imply if you're the shit or not, guys, you actually doing these actions and every single day pushing towards them, that's what's gonna garner. And in turn, guys, it's just gonna come back to the self-respect. Once you, ha you know, once you think you're in abundance mindset, once you think you're the shit, p other people will respect you, guys. You know what I mean? If you think you're a low-level life, you know, whatever, you, you're not worth shit. Everyone else is gonna think you, guys, because that's you, you. You give off what you get. You know, you get what you give off, guys. So that's my view on self-respect, guys. Make sure to hit that like, comment, subscribe button. Tell me, you guys, what you think of self-respect, guys. Do you think it's important? Do you think it's bullshit? Do you think that rant was dumb? Uh, love you guys all. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.